Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a fairly interesting review and I am going to have another review coming, a video really comparing a few budget options in the IEM market for the best competitive audio under $50. And of course, we already have looked at the Truthier Critical Zero that will be featured in the video as well as the Solid Zero. This right here is the QKZ by HBB, who is of course Hawaiian bad boy. And this is a actually pretty damn good IEM for gaming purposes and it's only $19.99. Let's get into it. And just to get into bolt quality guys, you can actually see there is a CNC aluminum rim around that faceplate. I think this is just a resin material on the main portion of the IEM. Under that you have the QKZ logo on the left IEM, the HBB logo on the right IEM in gold, and it's this nice little black faceplate with little things of lightning shooting down uh, each side. It actually looks quite good, the black, the white, the gold, and then this kind of like titanium look around the CNC aluminum. I actually do quite like it. The resin shell is a kind of like a smoky black uh, where you can see that 10 millimeter driver, which is a um, titanium coated diaphragm. It actually does sound quite good. We'll get into that soon. The silicone ear tips are on uh, the IEMs right now. It does come with foam ear tips as well, but the silicone ear tips actually feel fine to me. I don't really have any necessity to swap those out. And you can see that it is a detachable two pin cable. Default cable is kind of mess. So I was using uh, during my testing, my Alti cable, which I will leave a link to in the description below. For those of you who are new to the channel, the channel is primarily emphasized on gaming use case scenarios. What is the best IEM in a particular price bracket for competitive gaming purposes? And what qualities do we look for for competitive gaming audio? We look for extremely good separation and things that aren't muddling out things like footsteps, reloading, things that are happening at a distance. If I'm shooting my weapon, I need to be able to hear other audio cues going on around me. And particularly speaking, we test these in two use case scenarios, broad expansive maps and games like Apex Legends and close range quarters like Valorant, your tax shooters like CSGO, etc. Now for Apex Legends, I have to say that on stream while testing these, I've said numerous times that I cannot believe that these are $19.99. They actually sound extremely fun. They sound great in game, especially for a single dynamic driver. And surprisingly, the separation here is actually quite good in Apex Legends. And I think one of the best things about these in Apex Legends, especially at that price point, is the depth perception. And I'm gonna take you guys through a clip here right now and kind of go over what I'm talking about. But as I'm pushing these guys, there are multiple teams here and you begin to start to prioritize what it is you're looking at. And in particular right here with that ultimate from Ash, you get the instant prioritization on that target that you are trying to focus. And right there, as I am kind of leaping towards pushing that fight, I hear that other team off to a distance on my right side, as well as another guy positioning on the far left side. And as I'm pushing this guy yet again, of course, like in typical Apex fashion, we have another team in the water to my left. And one of the great things about the QKZ HBB is that there is such an emphasis on the audio cues. Even with that arc star flying at me, that arc star about to pop off, me just shooting, people shooting off in a distance, my teammates pushing, I heard that footstep in the water with absolute precision in terms of distance, and it allowed me to very quickly prioritize my crosser, even though I wasn't looking in that direction, to that target who was about to be a very immediate threat. And the absolute importance of separation is being able to hear footsteps behind me as I am focusing that target and trying to one mag that immediate threat, knowing I needed to immediately armor swap and get that armor swap off to protect myself and then knowing that I don't have enemies around me to be able to know that I can heal safely, to get back into the fight and get over to assist my teammates with what I need to assist them with to effectuate the finishing of the third and fourth parties that were happening in this particular fight. And do they have flaws in Apex? I would say that of course they absolutely do. Again, things that are very, very sub-base or base heavy can cause a little bit of a lack of separation, and that would include Bangalore Ultimates, Jibby Ultimates, things like popping batteries on yourself when you have that like vroom going, 
and uh, octane stim packs, but the separation is actually still fairly good. And again, depth perception is extremely good. I would almost liken it to, you know, when you are pinging something in a game and you actually get that meter readout, you feel how far enemies are on the QKZ HBB, and it's actually just so good. The ability to just pinpoint precise, locate people, and feel how far somebody is when they are um, doing sound cues in-game. So I really do think that these are really good performance-wise for $20 for Apex, and they just sound fun. Um, again, just very, very bassy heavy. And all things that are good in Apex are not necessarily always slam dunks in Valorant. I find these to actually be quite good in Valorant. You get a very good localization of where people are in a 360 degree radius. You get fairly good depth perception. But things like the Vandal, that when you are basically the one doing that sound cue, the Vandal is very bassy. And that causes a pretty good lack of separation because that bassy tone kind of just bleeds into the mids and the footsteps in Valorant are like little tat, 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 tat most of the time, right? So it does kind of bleed in and cause a lack of separation. But for the most part, and I'll play a clip here, you can see that it is very good in terms of localization, depth perception, and where people are. It definitely causes a... Uh, increase in crosshair placement, a benefit to crosshair placement. I think that's one of the great things about good audio for tag shooters. You have to have kind of like Apex an emphasis on prioritization of who to focus first, but you need to have good directional audio for that crosshair placement. And admittedly, guys, I really have not tried a whole lot of budget IEMs, but I think for $20, you're really getting a very energetic experience here. The sub bass and the bass are very punchy. They literally slam. And if you're listening to things like hip hop, if you like Kanye West, if you like Kendrick Lamar, let's say something like All the Stars, where you just have that constant boom, that constant bass, songs like that can get a little bit muddled and you begin to lose a little bit of the mids going into those female vocals even. You're losing a little bit of the other elements in a lot of those tracks going to something like the Dunu Talos, which I really don't want to compare uh, to this because the price points are just literally just different ends of the spectrum. Um, I do have another HBB collab here, the EGO 7M kind of lava in a custom resin, but the bass and sub bass are a little bit overemphasized over the mids and you do lose a little bit of elements on the QKZ HBB, but for $20, a single dynamic driver, how good these actually sound in those tracks. Um, listening to Modest Yahoo Sunshine, Pepper Stone Love, going to Kanye West Moon, to Kanye West Waves, and then to uh, Kendrick Lamar, All the Stars. Um, it is a fun IEM, and it has a hell of a punch for $20 and sounds pretty damn good at that price point. And again, I haven't tried a wide array of $20 IEMs. Um, but damn, for $20, these are, in my opinion, pretty damn good. And not only for music listening purposes, but for gaming purposes in particular as well. I hope that helped, guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.